Thank you, Canon, for supporting our channel. Hi, I'm Ariel here. Nice to meet you again. By the time you're looking at this video, I have returned my RF7200 and EOSR to Canon side already. I have to be apologized on this video will be quite uh, different than the usual because some of the footage that I taken with the RF7200 was spoiled because of memory card issue. So I quite apologize on that. But I still have some behind the scenes videos that taken with the RF7200 and some simple photos that I can be used and I will share out my personal experience on the RF7200 and what I think about this RF7200 is so different than the other 7200 in the market or the current and production, the 7200EF Mark III. Starting with this video, I will show you some photo, sample photos image and you can see how the result of it. As you can see here, the bokeh and etc is quite sharp and quite shallow for this 7200. This is a furious shot that I shoot at the seaside and then you can see how it combat against the chromatic aberration and against the sunlight backlight events. And this is a studio shot I are using a 70 to 200 for this shot. And you can see although it's a black and white portrait, but the shadow and the highlight control is very good on the EOS R plus the 70 to 200. This C shot, you can see that we can zoom in here and I'll show you the result on the zooming. As you can see, the backlight condition is much more controlled and less color fringing on the edge to edge even the very shining part we still have retain some uh, details and retention for landscape photo and we zoom in to 200 and we see all the details is still preserved and it's controlled by the sharpness and you can see all the lights is still retained there and without compromising all the details, you can see all the details is still available even though a far away view from the mountain or and we can see all the sharp corner to corner sharpness is retained and doesn't have some uh, chromatic vibration and vignetting also now we can see the lens flare that created by the 70 to 270 and corner to corner sharpness is still retained a bit of color fringing on the some details but all the light highlight part is still retainable details sharpness is also controlled the bokeh also uh, is so core is better than the normal 70 to 100 The new 7200 can zoom into 35cm in the closest distance of the focusing and all the detail is preserved. Lastly, we can see the bokeh that created by the 7200 and 200. You see the bokeh type is a lemon type and it's very not so buttery smooth it zoom in but I still prefer this kind of uh, bokeh look compared to the big aperture lenses Hi, we are back to studio again How to think about the result and the footage that come up for the RF7200 So what do you think about it? About the 7200 It has a few major improvements and some disadvantages that I feel about it that I will share to you all by my personal opinions About the 7200 it's a very versatile lens that we will often to see that most amateur or most horror photographers are using it because of the stunning image quality, the result and the big aperture f2.8 About this big aperture things, f2.8 uh, is a must to have because when you're using a bigger aperture, you have bigger shallow depth of view and secondly, you have to pump out the ISO to get the picture that you need and about a 70 to 100 focal lens its coverage is quite long it takes around mid telephoto to long distance telephotos 
which quite useful for some personal portrait, some events, or some photojournalist shot, or you have some long distance animal shootings, also it's quite a useful range for it. For my feeling that I have tested was and the year of experience of having a 7200 in myself, a 7200 is a good and it also has a bad. So let's talk about what's a good about this RF and what about the bad about it. So comparative with the EF version, a 7200 RF has smaller size and smaller weight and inside have 5 acid stabilization which work even better than the 7200 EF version and about the lens also I can feel that the, the result that produced is more stunning and more sharp comparatively to the EF version another good thing about this RF lens is the lens hood the lens hood have designed to open and close by itself and then you can open out to use the CPL or the ND filters uh, on it without attaching and detaching the filters at uh, the lens hood itself. So about the picture quality things we can see the uh, in the video and the photos just now, I think you can see the significant differences between the RF version. Uh, I don't have the comparison of the RF versus the EF yet because I still had now I guess I returned the lens here. Another good thing about the RF version is it's still using a 77mm filters that is very common nowadays for most of the lens and I have a lot of 77 ND and CPL filters on it so it's a plus point for Canon. Good things put aside and now we talk about the bad things. The bad thing is the RF7200 uh, construction is quite a disappointing although the main purpose of using a plastic body is to reduce the size and the weight but I still feel that it is a professional lens that costs around 2004 USD so please Canon why you take away the metal construction for the simply to reduce the size and weight which I feel is not a good thing for the uh, 7200 range lens itself because 7200 lens is commonly we call a very rugged and professional use lens and with that kind of price point I think it's a you can put inside a manageable uh, metal construction barrel for that lens itself and another thing that I don't like about the RF7200 is it is quite a very chunky diameter lens compared to the EF version. Uh, if you have saw my unboxing, actually the RF version, although it's reduced the uh, length by a lot, but actually the diameter of the lens is increasing. And the way I hold it, if I use an EF version, I hold like this. So my small hands still manageable, but RF one, I have to extend up a bit on my hands and it, although it's lighter weight, but I feel like not so comfortable when using the RF lenses itself. And but regarding of other things that I feel RF version need to improve is really the barrel and the others. So about the things that need to improve on the RF version is just about the barrel things. I'm quite disappointed with the RF version which don't have that barrel then the other things I feel it's good lens so overall this lens is good for my personal use and for my personal experience and I doesn't have a quite a long time of experience and testing this lens for my side because I only have two weeks on apparently so I only managed to do some street photography and some landscape with some portrait studio portrait shot so you can see the videos come up on the portrait shot it's quite a good lens and coverage of the normal portrait lens from the 85 135 and 100 it's quite a good range already for the portrait and for the photojournalist and other type of photography a 7200 is long enough for you to zoom and take some photos that 
not people not many people will notice you are around that's the things that i feel about 7200 for my personal usage and for my personal experience so that's all about the rf7200 here today if you have any question you want to ask about this lens put in the question in the comments below i try to answer you as soon as possible and please like and subscribe our channel for for more information so hope to see you all again next time bye